Ed. Hello there from Lights and Gear. It's time for another product review. And today I have a charger to talk about. This is the X-Star ST2. It's an intelligent, fast charging charger. And as you may have noticed over the past couple of years, each time a new charger comes out, they often try to outdo what came out previous to it and uh, make um, making them faster and faster almost. This says it is an intelligent fast charging charger, which it is because it uses a current of up to four amps. And that is uh, certainly one of the fastest chargers I have seen. Um, and one of the reasons that they can offer fast charging on this unit is that they do not allow the charging of smaller batteries, which tend to have to be charged at lower currents. So they get away with the 4A um, and up to 4A by charging basically larger batteries. On the side of the box here, it does happen to mention what most of these are. Um, it only applies to lithium-ion batteries. It's not an NIMH charger by any means. And you can see here that it mentions uh, the basic sizes that they do recommend charging in the unit, whether they be lithium-ion, IMR, INR, or ICR. 3.6 and 3.7 volts respectively. On the back of the box you do get um, a bit more info of course and a few facts and figures. It talks about the 4.1 the 4 fast charging. It can also zero activate batteries. It has a zero activation function so if your battery is pretty much dead to the world it should be able to revive it whereas some chargers might not. And um, it's usually not recommended to try to charge a zero a zero voltage battery, but in recent years, uh, many chargers do have um, activation functions, and it also works with con under a constant current uh, voltage. So as we open up the box and remove the contents, you will see the manual right here, and here is the charger itself. It's about uh, five six inches long, not terribly terribly large and is uh, basically it's uh, pretty attractive in its, uh, in its design. Uh, the side of it actually has a, this is quite nice, um, this is, has a quite nice a smooth feel to it. And you have the display here on the bottom as well as the uh, buttons for operation right there. Uh, as you can see the slots on it are quite large and it is to basically accommodate large batteries and the uh, they go in with a positive end down. On the back a little bit more information here and they uh, do tell you about the output and so forth for each uh, for the charger in general and for each uh, slot. It is uh, usually recommended to try and use um, a good quality uh, adapter uh, to do the charging with so that the amperage is as high as possible. On the back of the charger is a USB-C output, USB-C, so that is what it uses there. And uh, the other accessories here are the cables which they give you, which um, are good for two different types of charging. Here you have your standard USB and a C right here. And uh, this particular one, which is what I'd be using today for the demonstration, is a C all around. So it's C on both ends and what I have to use it with is actually an X-Star adapter. And here's the X-Star adapter itself which has the standard uh, AC plug on the one end and it fits a type C here. So we'll put that in there and uh, plug this in and plug in the charger. And you get an instant display right here. Two green lights, which will turn red when the batteries are inserted. As you can see here, each bay says 4.1 at the moment. And if you toggle, you will change the current to either 1, 2, or 4.1. I always think it's best to let the charger decide at what rate to charge the batteries with. Um, you can go down usually from whatever it decides to charge it with but it's sometimes not recommended to go up. If the battery starts at, uh, at 2 
Now you can move it up to four, but sometimes that's not recommended. And in some instances, the charger may internally decide that the higher current is not right for the battery. And even though it might not show you, it might lower the current automatically um, to charge it at the level to which it feels is safer for that particular battery. But anyway, uh, not too much. In, the, in regard to selections on this, it's pretty much does everything itself. I have a couple of different batteries here. Uh, first of all, we do have an 18650, which is a, a Samsung. This is a high quality INR 30Q. These are used a lot um, with, uh, with folks who use rechargeable batteries. They are unprotected, and um, although the charger does handle protected and unprotected batteries, so the uh, battery goes in like that and right away it starts to liven up the display so here it's kinda of going back and forth between um, battery uh, resistance and the percentage of the battery so uh, and, and the percentage of the current charge on the battery so this battery is pretty low right now it is at 3.48 3.48 volts as you can see which uh, translates into being about 3 percent charged it is charging at 2A now I can move it up to 4A to 4.1 if I desire. Um, I can try that and uh, see what happens. Probably nothing. It will probably charge at 4A for a little while and may actually jump down. And the current temperature of the battery is 29 degrees Celsius. So it gives you that information as well. And should the battery ever overheat or become dangerous in the charging, uh, become dangerous while charging, the machine will uh, shut that off and prevent it from charging any further, but also let you know that the uh, temperature of the battery is rising to, a, to an unsafe point. So, let's uh, try another battery on the other side, different size in fact, and um, this was again the reason for charging quickly is that they only accept, it only accepts the larger size batteries. Uh, it will not of course take anything smaller like an NIMH which which is which is one of these or the um, rechar or the um, lithium cousin to an NIMH in this particular size would be a, a 14500 so it won't take any batteries of this size or of course the smaller stubbier uh, lithium ions like the um, uh, 18350 or the one uh, or the 16340 so you can't charge anything smaller in these bays so anyway uh, I have a 26650 here this also happens to be an IMR cell but I can put that in on the other side and uh, it too will start to show what's going on with that particular battery now, if um, some batteries may not work terribly well in this if they're uh, overly large and if they're a button top. Um, if you can see here, there's quite the possibility if this were a button top, it might not work because the button might go above the, uh, the actual connector portion of it there. So this charger does work well with flat top cells. So the 26650 has uh, livened up, and there it is at, um, it's three quarters charged already, showing 4.7 volts. Uh, by the way, if you want to turn off the display at any time, you just press and hold the button, and then the display goes out, but you can liven it up at any time by just pressing the button again. So this one is also charging at, this one is charging at 2A. Now, of course, I could move that up to 4 as well, <clears throat> and it's at 77% and it's at 30 degrees Celsius. All right, so let's let these uh, batteries charge for a bit and we'll check back and check back in with them uh, shortly here as they get uh, closer to being to being actually finished. Through the magic of video, some time has passed here and now let's take a look at what's going on with the batteries. You can currently see that the 26650 on the right has fully charged. Um, nominal voltage is what this charger gives, uh, meaning 4.2. It does not give the actual voltage, which would probably be somewhere around 4.6 or 4. Point, or 4. Point, uh, yeah, 4.16 or 4.17. Uh, usually is where a battery will finish charging. As uh, but as you can see, this charger gives the standard 4.2 voltage. Anyway. So that's 100%, and um, it remained at the um, at the two throughout the two amp throughout the charge. 
The final temperature there is 43 degrees Celsius. And as you can see, the 18650 is still charging. It's only at 68% and at 4.1 volts. Obviously, this would take a little more time to continue its charge. And its temperature is 44 degrees Celsius. So um, that's pretty much what the charger does. You can see that this would take uh, a while longer since it was uh, much lower in voltage when it was placed on the charger. The 26650 was a lot, um, well, it had, it had more of a charge on it, so obviously it didn't take, a long, didn't take as long. And of course now, see, some batteries, depending on the type that they are, uh, their overall health, whether they're an INR versus an ICR, meaning whether they're protected or unprotected, will bring different results. Um, again, you can change that amperage if you like. I could raise this to 4. So, anyway, that is the X-Star S2 charger. If you do have any questions or comments on it, of course, leave them below and we'll discuss that. And if you'd like to pick one up, there is a link below where you can uh, purchase one at a reasonable price. And uh, that's pretty much it for the X-Star S2, ST2. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you'd like to, if you'd like to uh, visit lightsandgear.com, you'll see more flashlights, batteries, chargers, and all that. And until next time, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you soon. All right, then. Bye-bye.